In this video series, we will use MATLAB Simulink and the SES Distributed Processing Framework to rapidly generate and deploy a control system for the custom rotary inverted pendulum hardware shown here. The pendulum's position is measured with a CUI 12-bit absolute encoder. The swing arm drive axis is driven by a DC motor with a 20.5 to 1 gear train, while the pendulum encoder signals are transmitted through a slip ring that is mounted on this drive axis. Mounted below the gear train is another CUI 12-bit encoder that measures the swing arm position relative to the base frame. The electronics that interface this system to the host computer are mounted at the base of the hardware. To develop and test the real-time controller for this system, we will utilize our standard engineering workflow. The first step is to create a 3D graphics model of the system that utilizes the real-time SESDP Publish Subscribe interface. We then write the dynamic equations of motion for the plant and represent those equations in a MATLAB Simulink model. This is followed by a detailed model characterization where the simulation physical parameters are tuned to match the open loop response of the actual hardware. We then utilize the plant dynamics model to develop a multi-mode control system model for this hardware in MATLAB Simulink. These MATLAB models are then easily converted to SES distributed process plugins using the SESDP toolbox in MATLAB. In this case, distributed process plugins for the plant dynamics and the system controller are automatically produced. These plugins are then compiled for the non real time desktop environment where they are tested in a closed loop configuration using the SES distributed processing framework. The non-real-time environment shown here is used to test the controller process in a simulated environment. In this case, the controller process runs closed loop with the plant dynamics process, while the system is commanded and monitored by distributed process clients running on the desktop machine. The controller plugin is then cross-compiled without modification for the embedded real-time environment, where it is run closed loop with the actual system hardware. Here, the same controller plugin that we tested in the NRT environment is deployed on a real-time SESDP server node. It is then coupled to a hardware interface distributed process that reads the system sensor data and drives the actuator. All system top-level command and data monitoring is handled by an external machine that is running the SESDP client applications along with a distributed data archiving process. Because the operational environment utilizes the highly flexible and extensible SESDP framework, the deployed system can now easily migrate with requirements changes. If single real-time node processing limitations require the deployed system to be distributed across multiple real-time servers, you simply add an additional real-time server and update the system configuration Perl script. If the system must be modified to control an army of these devices, the framework easily accommodates this. Additional SESDP servers and plant hardware are simply added to the system. These servers are then commanded to load the required plugins and the control of all synchronized nodes can be handled from any client interface.